And now, your first alert five weather. And although cold, it was a really, really nice start to the weekend here in Southern Colorado. Tomorrow won't be a whole lot different. Well, I should say it will because it's going to get a lot windier, so it's going to get a little bit warmer, but you probably won't notice much of a difference until late morning to early afternoon. So the morning starts out relatively similar to today, and then by early afternoon, we start to see the winds pick up, and they'll be southwesterly, which is that dry downslope wind. Could see gusts around 20 to 30, humidity down around 9 to 15%. So you want to avoid any outdoor burning tomorrow. Do not toss any cigarette butts out the window. Don't drag any chains behind the car. And if you do see smoke, make sure to report that to the authorities immediately. Take a look at the Futurecast wind gusts. Pretty quiet again early in the morning, but look what happens by late morning to early afternoon. Sustained wind gust up around 20 to maybe 35 miles per hour. I think they'll be strongest in Dewerfano County, Southern Pueblo County, Northern parts of Los Animas County, but still pretty gusty at times from the Steel City up through Woodland Park here in Colorado Springs and Monument. Not like what we saw last week or the week before, but again, some local gusts could be on the order of maybe 20 to 30 miles per hour. Right now in the Springs, pretty quiet quiet outside on this Saturday afternoon, 42 degrees outside in town. It's 52 with the river walk all lit up for the holidays here in Pueblo. At the surface, high pressure building in will help bring that boost in temperatures tomorrow, but it's a system as we look off to the west, this powerful cold front that is expected to intensify quite a bit over the next 24 hours. It's going to bring us some pretty significant weather changes early next week. Now ahead of the storm, it's that strong wind that brings in the high fire danger. Not only tomorrow, but I expect we might see some continuation of the red flags into your day on Monday. Then as the front arrives late on Monday, we'll see some very cold, windy conditions and possibly some snow into some areas. Now, I know Mike was talking about this last night, Sam back on Friday morning and Alex O'Brien this morning saying it looked like the trends were going a little farther north. I'm still seeing that tonight, but maybe a little bit of a jog to the south. So what does that mean? If we get the moisture here into southern Colorado, it would start to develop Monday night, probably after your evening commute. But again, on these longer range models, look for the darker blue, the lighter stuff, just some moisture or some light flurries. You can see most of it really not falling south of the Arkansas River Valley. Probably wraps up by Tuesday morning in most areas, except for the mountains and the northeastern plains. Lows tonight dropping down to the teens, 20s, and 30s with a few single digits into the mountain valleys. Highs tomorrow, they're going to jump up a healthy boost of about 10 to 15 degrees. So again, high fire danger Sunday, that's your headline. Still windy with some afternoon to evening snow showers here Monday, and then Tuesday that snow will be wrapping up early. And those winds on Monday gusting around 15 to 30, even 35, 40 miles per hour. Behind that system, very cold and it looks like in these extended longer range outlooks we can see this cold air stick around potentially all the way through christmas check out pueblo one out of five on the impact scale snow not really going to be a big deal with this next round on monday night but we could see a few flurries linger into tuesday and some cold temperatures to follow for king and city also a low impact storm in terms of snow totals but if you get those quick bursts and you get the wind that impacts the visibility and it could make driving conditions quite treacherous monday night into tuesday morning for woodland park we go a little bit higher on the impact scale here some of the models show around one to two inches up across parts of teller county monday night through tuesday morning dry and cold through the rest of the period